All right, we got the kitties. Cute kitties. They know something's up. Good morning. We got an appointment to get these little stinkers fixed. Okay. You don't want to put a label on that. Come on back. We'll take it back to you. All right. Thank you. Bye bye, guys. We'll see you in a few hours. No, they'll spend the night. Oh, they're going to spend the night. They will definitely spend the night. Okay. They will definitely spend the night. So we, so, we uh, tomorrow? This time in the morning. Tomorrow okay. morning. Okay. Time well, morning. thank you, sir. I appreciate so it. Come on. Hey, Come on. They're going to get good day. Thank you so thank much, you sir. You too. Alrighty. Well, that was easy. I thought we were going to have to be back to pick them up today, but it looks like we're going to pick them up tomorrow morning, which is fine. They're going to keep them overnight and make sure that everything goes well with their fixing, make sure that the medication that they get is good. Um, in and out around here in Boonville. I love living in a small town, man. In, in Vegas or even in Kingman, we would have been still sitting waiting to be called. Yep. So. And I was honestly, I was thinking, I was like, oh, we're gonna have to kill time in uh, Fort Smith or something like that just to just to wait to wait it out, you know. Up. But we don't have to kill time. We could just knock this out and get back home. Yes. I so, like that. That's great. Let's do it. All right. Where are we at, Abe? Waffle House. Is this what you wanted? Yep. You hungry? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what's your order, baby? Uh, I got the uh, bacon hash brown mold thingy. I added sausage into it as well as I got myself uh, a waffle. Yum. Yum yum. Yum yum. What you got there, Abe? Chocolate milk. Chocolate milk. Butter on there. Mmm, -mm. mm, buddy. Bye. 
Spider-Man, Spider-Man does whatever a spider can. Hello. What'd daddy get you? A candy with a chomper? So we just finished up with Metro. We're in the truck driving again. This is the little device that we just bought. It is a hotspot and we got it for a really good deal because we've been a customer of Metro for so long. But this thing right here is gonna give us 100 gigabytes of data per month. And we got it on a super, super steal because we've been Metro customers for so long, I guess. Um, it's only 40 bucks a month for us for 100 gigs, which is amazing. So uh, I'm not worried about uploading. Hopefully the upload speeds are still good, um, which is gonna be totally out of our control. It's probably gonna still be like the cell phone speed, but the fact that we have all this gigs without it throttling down, it's, it's just gonna make life a lot easier for us now. So I'm really excited for that. Um, I know it's gonna be great. So we got another stop to uh, make now. We gotta go to Home Depot. Home Depot. Yeah, we're gonna go to Home Depot. We got some tools we gotta pick up. Um, it's gonna help us with the logs, getting them a bit easier and um, just dealing with all that stuff. So we're gonna head on in there and see what we can get. getting there. But let's feel clouds are threatening us. There's like a big storm coming our way, but it hasn't actually hit yet, and so we're just being threatened by the sky. That sprinkled a little bit. A tiny like two drops. But then another two drops. Six hundred bucks for that That's what he was saying. Yeah, six hundred bucks for those. You wanna ride in the car one today? All right. You gonna drive? Yeah. Broom, broom. <laughs> Always love those things. Oh yeah. All right, so where's our first stop, baby? Well, first stop's gonna be basically down here in the next spot as well. I wanna triple check and see what they got. Uh oh, he's going squirrel. He's going for a squirrel. Uh oh, he's going squirrel. Drop seed spreader. Okay. I'm just keeping my eyes open, my options open. Mm hmm. Got some wheels and some other stuff. We got bigger wheels over there. Easy. No, I don't see it over here in the chainsaw aisle. All right, let's go over to the tool aisle. Hopefully, Hopefully it's over there. Do not see. Finally find him? Yeah. There you go. Oh, one pack. Well, I guess we're gonna have to get the, the one open pack that they have because that's all they got. Hey, it's better than nothing. Down, please. Oh, it's to like all right. Well, here. There's that. <laughs> Dang it. They didn't have any of the other things that we wanted, so I think we're gonna take a trip to Harbor Freight and maybe a different tractor supply. We'll see, we're trying to find the larger cant hook, um, as well as... Uh, the log roller, or the, the log dolly? Yeah. Or whatever we can find. We're on a mission today, guys. A miss, a mission. We're on a mission. <laughs> hey, look. 
we're on Gary Street. <laughs> We just pulled into Harbor Freight, but yeah, we're gonna go in here and see uh, if we can find those tools that we're needing. Hopefully, we don't have to keep driving around everywhere and uh, get on with it, you know? Oh yeah. Dad, let's see if there are any cars. Oh, Thank you. Good, how are you? Hey, I've seen this place before, Dad. You've seen this place before? Yeah, Mom. Yeah? Yeah, right, Mommy? Yeah, we've been here before together. So we ended up seeing they've got the Chicago version of the electric planer, and it's 60 bucks. They also have the Drill Master one, which is 44 which it does not look like they've got the one. I want, which is that guy. Hmm. Well, you're the man, I'll let you make the decision. I'm gonna see if I can find that chainsaw thing here. If all else fails, it might come down to the point where we have to order it online and just wait for it. I wanted to be able to pick it up and have it in my hand and see the quality of it, but we're striking out. Yep. We struck out over at Harbor Freight, so we're gonna have to go to another place. So. Let's uh, go get something to drink first. We went and got us a sweet beverage over at Sweet Bay Coffee, which is that place right there. And it was really good. Um, we ended up giving Paul, the bearded carpenter, a call because we could not find these darn cant hooks or any of the tools that we needed in town to save our life. So we called Paul to see if he had any suggestions for us. And he told us to get our butts back over to Harbor Freight, buy that cheapest uh, planner that we could find, which is right here. We ended up buying it. It was, what, 45 bucks? With uh, taxes and the year of warranty, it came out to 58.15. Not bad. So he said buy the cheapest one because regardless, we're probably going to wear it out, which is a fact. Um, so... Yeah, it's probably why you got the warranty, huh? <laughs> it was only like eight bucks for the warranty. I was like, no, oh, it's only for a year. I'm like, probably we'll be, wear it I'll out be in broken a year. within a year. So yeah, let's do that. <laughs> so there you go. So Paul is so sweet and so kind and generous to us with not only his knowledge, but he told us to come on over to his house and that he has an extra cant hook that we can borrow. And he has a couple other tools that are gonna help us out um, that we're just gonna borrow it from him for a little while. I wanna say a huge thank you and shout out to Paul the Bearded Carpenter. We're on our way, buddy. We'll see you in just a few. Oh yeah. So we just pulled up to our good friend Paul's house. He is known as the Bearded Carpenter. I'm gonna put a link somewhere right around here to go to his channel. Go over there, check him out, let him know that we sent you. Um, we're gonna go see him now and uh, see what he's got to say. He's got a couple of things for us to borrow to help us out with our log cabin build. So oh, yeah. let's go over there and see what's going on. Let's do it. Oh. Looks like Paul's down here getting it, doing his thing. He's working on a log cabin right now for uh, a gentleman. And he's prepping all the wood and stuff over here for that. So we're gonna go down to his work site and uh, say hello. Oh yeah. Hey Paul. Hey hey. Look at you. You are straight getting it. I'm just about through with this one. Right. It's looking good, man. I mean this bottom notch here and had a couple flat spots. And if they're in the middle, this is actually two pieces that comes up against the window. Oh, okay. It's so looking it's good. Those dovetails, that's what it's all about, man. That's awesome. Yeah, they lock together pretty well. Yes, they do. Oh, yeah. Oh. So were you able to find another little planer thing? Yes, we did. We got the cheap one from uh, um, Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight. It wasn't too bad. It was... 55 bucks or something out the door. Yeah, really? Yeah. 
Yeah, it was at Harbor. It was the cheapest one they got. And the striper thing I was telling you about. Couldn't find one. Okay. We looked, we couldn't it's find that one. Guy right there? That's it. That's a floor scrape. Okay. Yeah, we were looking. Uh, we did not go back to Home Depot though, because we have we're gonna have to pick up the girls here, and we had already been to Home Depot. Ace should have one. Ace yeah. should have one. Okay. Yeah. When you get it, uh, if you bring it by, I'll I'll grind the edges for you. It works great. Okay. okay. Uh, yeah, we'll get we'll grab one. We'll look in Boonville too. Oh wow. yeah, that's like butter. Wow. You can get a it lot. a lot faster. A lot quicker and easier. Alright. Yeah. Gary, give it a whirl. That's freaking okay. awesome. Give it a whirl, Gary. Oh my goodness. Is Dude, that easy? That is like you think I could do night it? Night and day. That's night and day difference. Yeah? Night and day. Not even... That's a pretty log. I love that log. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. That's like... Look at that. Yep. And you can see the white layer too. What's that? The... Cambium. 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 That's what it's called. Yeah, that's what you need to get off. Yeah, look how easy that cambium layer even comes off. Like... And this is one's more wet though. Yeah, yeah these are fresher logs. Yeah, these are fresh. But even at that, I can tell that... The Other way, babe. You can see right here where the mud is trying to wow. trying to get in there. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, we have a few holes in our logs. Mm -hmm. um, the bigger round. Yeah, they're not. There's some of them are itty bitty, mm -hmm. tiny little ones. Some of them are like pinky. Mm -hmm. You can stick a pinky in it, but they're not that deep. They're mm -hmm. probably about that deep or so. And then other ones, they're much smaller. So what Those do we? Tiny holes. Yeah. What mm -hmm. do we? You'll see. Um, a little, trying to find one, uh, you'll see a little string of uh, powder sawdust growing yeah. out of that. Oh yeah, yeah, I've seen that. I've okay, seen yeah. That. What I've started doing is pouring lacquer thinner. Okay. Okay. It'll, it'll get rid of them or? Well, it uh, makes them sick. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. And then it'll so, make them really thick. So the holes, it's it really won't hurt the log house or anything, right? It's not going to affect it structurally. It's just aesthetic. It's just aesthetically. Got one log there that I'm going to patch. Okay. It was a, a round log. I've been sitting in the yard for a while at the sawmill yard, and I milled it, and I killed some big boards. Yeah, those grubs. Yeah. Yeah. I think you can batter them up and fry them. Sure. The kids keep coming over with the jars. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Some people will eat them. I, I know of some timber framers that will eat one just, just for the heck of it. Yeah. The kids, the kids came over with jars and they're like, let's pick them all and go fishing. I'm like, hey, see if it works. Maybe they'll be, maybe they'll go after it. I don't know if they will or not, but it keeps the kids entertained at least. <laughs> huh, baby? You gonna catch all those grubs? Well, we're gonna have to get us one of these and just um, use the grinder. Uh, yeah, I, I'll show you what I'm using for a grinder. Thirty-six grit sanding bit. Okay. Man, it's sweet. So when we leave here, let's go to Ace really quick. Get us one of these because this thing is like butter. Yeah. And then let's get us that sanding disc. Heck yeah. So that way we can just. That was looking I mean, all that over. That was quick. That was yeah. so quick. That's that's awesome. We're just not using the right tools. We're working harder. Hey man, it's uh. We're working with what we got for now. But well, yeah, but. Yeah. It is what it is. It is. Money when you can take that and do the same thing. Yeah, you just gotta sharpen it real good. Yeah, you sharpen it occasionally. Well, the first time you gotta sharpen it real good, right? Yeah. Yeah. But you're gonna hit knots with it. That's gonna dull it, because that's not top quality metal. It's in the tool steel. Yeah. No. So, yeah, you will be sharpening it. Okay. Heck yeah. Yeah, I've got some uh, different grinding discs and whatnot, and then I also got like the one where I can put the pad. Look, just so like that, like where there. I can throw the pad up on there uh -huh. and glue it onto it, or however. Some of them are screw in to where well, I can these, screw them in. These will, you'll have to lock that down with yeah. that thing there. Uh, 
and you, you can get these at Ace. They're, okay. they're 36 grit. And I've been using this same disc this entire job. Oh, wow. So they really last. But I'm just kind of taking that off. That's awesome. That is so cool. How many more lugs you got? Oh, gosh. Let's see, this is round six. I've got five more rounds. Five, so more than halfway. That's awesome. How long has it taken you to get to more than halfway? I don't know. You don't know. I don't I uh, worked some long hours. Did you start last year or this year? No, no, I started about two and a half months, about two months ago. How big of a log should I be cutting in a sense? I'm trying to, to keep talk them close to you to about it. that. If you work six by tens or six by twelve for everything, yeah. it will make it easier for you. Okay. You'll have the same notch dimension here. Okay. And when you're splicing, it'll be so much easier because when you're working live edge. Uh, say for instance that log that wall was say 24 feet okay i would have to find a log that would match either the butt or the tip of it to either continue the, the butt swell or the taper out okay. one way or the other and that gets into some tricky stuff okay so if you use the same size logs you would you would have one notch to mention yeah. And you can change that corner to where it would look more natural. Okay. And a lot of log these log home kit companies, that's what they do. Yeah. Six by ten, okay. And it will it will be a log house. Okay. And you can put you well you can do it with a grinder, you can just kind of make it look the way you want. Okay. Hmm. And <laughs> Wheels are turning. <laughs> Wheels are turning. This is how you would splice them together where you need a longer log. This would be your mortise. Okay. Or your mortise here would be in one log. And a tenon on this one. And you can fit these shoulders. And you can pull this together. Then you peg this together. Two pegs. And you will not pull it apart. Okay. But um, since you are going to have to do this, I know I do live edge. Yeah. You know, that's my thing. But you're not going into the log building business. <laughs> no, we're just building one for us to live in. I just want it to last for a very, very long time. <laughs> okay. Well, you can do that and it will simplify things for you. Okay. Yeah. That would be nice. And. You, you won't have to worry about doing a flat spot okay. where you come up against an opening because you're going to be flat anyway. Yeah. Our biggest thing right now is we really need to get all those logs moved, oh, moved off the ground. and stumped and limbed and everything and debark them. As soon as they're all debarked, we're planning on getting them up off the ground. Um, you saw our video and we talked about it. We're going to use the, uh, the blocks mm -hmm. and then we were planning on doing two this way and then the rest of them up like this on top of, the, on top of that and then just kind of just going back and forth back and forth after the bark's all off of them and then working with the top layer obviously first and then going down 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 when it's actually time to work with the logs but we just want to get them up and out of the way first and then we're going to go back to the basement about finish the basement the thing yeah getting the wood taken care of now yeah but is it going to bow out or anything? Is it going to ruin it, do you think, if we're stacking them like that? You would need to put support every so often on your big logs that, that you were... The bottom ones? Bench your okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, they would need some support down through there to keep them from sagging. How many feet or so do you think we should we lay a block? Because I got a bunch of cinder blocks. Um, put one maybe every six feet. Okay. And, of course, with that log being in the natural shape, it's... You're going to need to put some shims under there. Shim yes, of course. To, to give it, you know, the full support. And it won't roll and... Yeah. Yeah. Heater. yeah. And then, um, do we do the linseed oil as soon as possible or... You don't have to put it on your logs now. Okay. Because okay. those are going to be solid. Yes. So okay. you don't want to waste the linseed oil. Okay. okay. That's that made it a lot easier. Yeah. Here, go grab the other side. Gary, go grab his side. I want to see how heavy it is. 
Oh wow, I'm doing it very easily with one hand. That's crazy, and you're not down here. Yeah, it's you're not hurting your back. Right. Oh, cool. Flat bar. Now, this it, it wants to since it's top heavy with this on there. Yeah. I usually just stick a wedge down in there. I use a lot of weight. Where it'll kind of stay. Okay. Now. And then we won't be ruining up our ground. If you push down on the light end, take off with That's crazy. That, that's like... Oh, it's getting away from you. Nothing day different. Wow. Let me see if I can push. Well, that's the heavy end. There we go. Oh, I can't do it with the camera. Here, Abe. Hold that. Hold that, buddy. Okay. That's up, Phil, and that's so easy. That's not awesome. freaking ingenious. That is very easy to take that with you. Well, thank you. We will. I appreciate that's it. Good. Oh, that's fine. Oh, yeah, you need the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. I got it. Yeah. Well, thank you for letting us borrow these tools because we're going to get a lot of use out of it. I've got <laughs> I appreciate it. We'll, yeah. we'll give it back to you in good shape. Um, yeah. I appreciate it very, very much. That's going to make it a lot easier. Yeah, and we have so many of those logs to move, and we've been using the um, the quad, as you've seen, and that works. It does work, but it is digging it into the ground. It is dragging yeah, the dirt. You're getting a lot of dirt and stuff in there. Mm -hmm. You'd be surprised how much weight you can With just those wheels. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, you just need to kind of get that sort of in the middle of it, but if you have to, uh, to get it up on that, just set you some blocks on either end, and put you some kind of an incline out of anything that would support the weight, and just roll it up over onto that. Yeah. To save your back. Oh, there's two draw knives over there, too. Okay. If you want to do some draw knives. Maybe. Incredibly sharp. They're sharper than what you were using. The draw knives, uh, that's a lot of, I mean, I kind of like the planner a bit better. Yeah, I do too. Oh yeah, those are much sharper than ours, just by looking at it. Yeah, I sharpen everything with Japanese water stones. So I like my tools incredibly sharp. Yeah. I mean, they are scary sharp. Yeah, okay, where you cut everything. your hair with it. Yeah, you can, certainly can. I have a friend in Virginia who can make it those. Oh, cool. He can make your chisels, your slicks. Actually, he made an axe for me. Yeah, he made this for me. Oh, he forged that? Mm -hmm. Dang! Watch out, son. This is incredibly sharp. That is... Oh, yeah. That's really sharp. And all I do with it is these four marks. Jared Lanham. Jared Lanham? Lanham. L-A-N-H-A-M. Well, Jared Lanham, we're probably going to be calling you at some point in time. He's good. Yeah. Instagram, uh, Refiner's Forge. Okay. It's Jared. I'm going to find him. He's always, he makes skillets. He makes everything. I'm going to find him. Hinges, door latches, Ooh. axes, chisels, slicks. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm going to find him on that Instagram and I'll send him a message and let him know you sent me over there. Yeah, Refiner's yeah. Forge. Refiner's Forge. Uh -huh. I won't okay. forget it. Oh, that's a nice axe. Mm -hmm. This is the English style. Hear that, Paul Honeyman? English style. Bet this one's right up your alley, buddy. That's nice. I love that axe. That's a nice looking axe. It's got tool steel. You can see the line. Yeah. yeah this, this is tool, high carbon steel. This is softer steel here. Oh, that's super, super sharp too. Mm -hmm. It takes somebody's head right off in the zombie apocalypse. 
<laughs> That's why I keep leather sheets on everything. Yeah, no, we would have to too because we got kids yeah. and Boy, I'm accident right. prone. Thank you so much Thank for you. teaching us and for and all of the, the tools, tools and stuff that you're going to let us borrow. And yeah, it's advice. very much appreciated the advice and everything. Like, my goodness. We have so many questions and I'm just so thankful that we have you to go to to well, show that. us the way. <laughs> no, we need friendship that we're developing. It's just great. Yes. Yes. I know. I love too, love community that's kind of local. You mm -hmm. know, Jeff and Drew. And, so. Yeah. And uh, now there's another lady that's moved down there in your neck of the woods. Possum Run. Yeah, that's Mama V. She seems like a very nice woman. But this area, this local area of YouTubers, homesteaders, um, it's just been fantastic. It's been seriously fantastic. Be getting to know people and actually have people, because we're the new people in the area. We're from Arizona. We don't know anybody. And nowadays, it's really hard to meet people other than yeah. kind of on the internet. That just seems how you meet people these days. Um, so I'm thankful that we have the community that we have. Yeah. In order to meet everybody and make well, I, friends. I think and... a lot of Jeff and Drew, they're just sweet. They yeah. are. Yeah. Super sweet. We're going to help uh, Jeff in October. He's going to be moving out there. Mm -hmm. We're going to have to haul up our horse trailer and load up a bunch of his stuff for him. Yeah. Okay. Take it out to his I'm new place. I want to say a huge thank you to, uh, to Bobblehead, which is Jeff, Bobblehead Homestead, and of course to Drew over at Dutch Creek Cabin for making the introductions to us so we could meet Mr. Paul, the bearded carpenter because uh, he's got so much knowledge and we've really been leaning on him and thank you Paul thank for you. all of the knowledge and for letting us borrow some tools and taking us under your wing and being our sensei when it comes to this log home build because we need a sensei. <laughs> we're white yeah. belts yeah. and you're the black belt and we're going to learn from you. <laughs> so I appreciate it very, very much, man. Thank and you, you guys, if you guys have not gone over to the Bearded Carpenter's site and checked him out, please do. I'm going to put an icon card around here somewhere and it'll take you to his YouTube channel. He does have a YouTube channel where he builds all of these beautiful log homes, guys. He's working on one right now. You guys could jump into his series, see where he's at. Um, you've been seeing a little sneak peek of all these pieces of timber around us. That's what he's working on right now. And he is the master. 30 years of experience building log homes. We're so lucky to be able to learn underneath such a skilled man. Yeah. And I'm just so grateful. So I want all of you guys to go over there and check him out, show him some love, um, and become part of the community. Our community is growing, guys, and it's a beautiful thing. So you're very welcome. Go check him out, guys. Me and Gary got to get rolling because we have to go pick up the kids from the bus and um, we gotta get home and make dinner and all that good stuff. Plus, I'm gonna edit out this video for you guys tonight so you guys will see what we're doing today, tomorrow on Friday, because today is Thursday, smart. so yeah. I got a lot to do. That is smart. He's a smart guy, I'm telling you. He's a smart guy. So guys, it's been a very, very busy, but very productive day today.